Level three, I wouldn't necessarily say is as difficult as level number two. But we did get a two tablet out of there and more hearts. And our first ghost, these guys take two hits. And here's an Igor. Uh, you, I like crouching and waiting for them to jump. And so then I can just get the timing and kill them. That's my favorite way to do it. Your ways may vary. There's the next one. There you go. If they did hit you though, meat is waiting for you right there. Over here, we can find a spooky skeleton. Uh, they will throw bone, but uh, we didn't get a chance to see that guy throw a bone. I killed him too quick. And then we can just head up here. Still stage number seven. I'm trying to go quickly though, because uh, the time is kind of limited. Uh, if you jump off this balcony, a ghost will spawn. I'm not gonna do that because uh, the ghost can be quite dangerous. There's another one. Ooh, temporary invincibility, but it's very, very temporary. And this guy, yeah, he'll go up there. There we go. Damn Raven. All right. And well, there went that. Uh, that's the first time in the game that if you do not hold up while you go up the stairs, you will die. Hold up while going upstairs. It's important. Crouch there. You can get a secret money bags to spawn worth a thousand points. And here we can see the skeleton throw bones. Looks very similar to something I've played in the previous game. But, thousand points for killing him with holy water. And we are free to go forward. Axe there, do not want it. And over here we can find more money bags and the way forward to stage number eight. We are making quick progress today. Stage eight is incredibly straightforward. I don't know why this one is put at this point in the game. Here you can just walk forward and walking forward will make you dodge all the Medusa heads. And then you can just go right past the skeleton. I didn't even need to do anything that time. And we're already on the next screen. I did miss out on a cross, or uh, sorry, not a cross, a uh, boomerang, uh, but uh, that, that's not necessarily the, the biggest deal to me. All right, here, uh, I didn't go over this before, but you can whip the fireballs. Makes this very easy, just keep whipping until you win. That's the strategy against those things. Just keep whipping until everything is over. And we've made it. That's, that's stage eight. Yeah, I know. Like I said, it's very straightforward. Seems like it should be earlier. Stage eight is a big reason why I say level two is harder than level three. All right, more ravens, can I get them? Thank you, don't like those guys hanging around. All right, and we got another fire statue here. Let's go ahead and take them out as necessary. Try to kill these guys. Just all about timing in this game. There we go, just whip until dead. I mean, Belmont fears nothing, despite this being a horror-themed game. It's not necessarily a horror game, but it's got a horror theme to it. And we got Medusa heads, and we got, oh, well that made things a lot easier for me. Still Medusa heads, though. I don't want that. We're gonna wait for that to go away, and we're going to hang out here. Wait, I think I need to get over here so that they spawn, and that they, they know to fight. All right, wait for that. You know what? We'll do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> we'll just, oh, these guys. The fucking mummies, man, they are so easy. And there we go. There was meat in there in case you wanted to, but I was trying to do the cheap way and then this turned out to be the easier way. So there you go. Give me all the points that I deserve, and possibly more. But stage nine and level three is now done with that very easy boss. I do have to say, those guys, I don't know why they're there. I would say the Medusa was much more difficult than that. And things are not going well for Simon Belmont. This is where instant death happens quite a bit, stage 10. This requires platforming, and that's not necessarily this game's strong suit. Uh, this is where a stopwatch is. I would not recommend getting that at this point. There is nothing major that that will help you with. All right, you're locked into your jump there. Keep that in mind. Here, just make a break for it. Just go. Go, go, go. Jump over that guy if you can. Just go. And then we will stop here. Kill that guy. Make the jump onto this and dock. 
Alright. Up onto this. Wait. Wait. Drop down here. Okay. Hop up here. Wow, this is this is going very well for me. And then hop. Go. Go. Don't don't wait for anything there. I think I can get that. Just heart. Okay. We have made it, and we are up to stage number 11. Here, once again, you just want a motor. Just go for it, Simon Belmont. We are off to kill Dracula. Just get the timing right on these Igors. Just wait for them to land and hit them. That's the trick. That's the only trick. If you start jumping, you're gonna die. Just, just go. When they spawn behind you, just turn around and hit them, if at all possible. And that's it. That is the trick here. Not that it's much of a trick. Here we are spawning our first uh, fire dragon. This is what the demo died against. It's not all that difficult, really. Just stand a little bit behind it and whip until dead. And that's it. That's stages 10 and 11 done very quickly. And this is where the demo actually started. So we already know what's in this one. Dagger, do not let that go. All right, holy water is how I like to go. Ugh. And down he goes. I only got hit once. I think I'm okay with that because there's meat there. Ooh, one short. I think I'm going to be okay with that, though. I think I'm going to be okay. I don't know. We're up against the tough boss here. That's why the demo picked up here. You're probably going to die here. I might die here. All right, holy water. Holy water, go. Throw holy water. And down he goes, and we get a three for our efforts. All right, looking good. However, we are up against one of the tougher bosses of the game. Some people say it's the hardest boss. I say no, but uh, what do I know? We're up against Frankenstein. Oh, freaking Igor is, is a pain around here. Gotta hit Frankenstein, though. All right, there we go. I made that look exceptionally easy. What the hell? We'll go ahead and grab that. And that is stage 12. What the hell? I'm up to five lives, by the way. 100,000? Oh, I was hoping that would give me another one. Wow, I made Frankenstein look very, very easy. Oh, but we are on to stage number 13. Wow, we are... We are making substantial progress. Enemies around here will hit you for double what they normally do. So make sure you don't get hit, like more than usual. Like twice as much as you normally make sure you don't get hit, I guess. Uh, the problem is a lot of these guys are difficult to avoid. I, I do know the trick to that guy. He occasionally goes off screen there. He will always jump back on screen when he does that. That's why you saw me going to the right there. He always does that. I've had a little bit of practice with this game, particularly lately, actually. Trying to make sure I could I could do this properly. <laughs> and I know you guys are thinking that I'm doing exceptionally well. Uh, there is going to be a point in the game in which I start doing poorly, and that point is coming up. And I'm going to need to hold on to the holy water to try to make that as easy as possible. Uh, but for the time being, we are just going to continue forward. There's nothing there. I know it looks like there should be, but there's not. Uh, red skeletons, they will get back up after you kill them. Well, after you do damage to them. Uh, so be prepared for that. Just be prepared. All right, now somewhere around here. Okay, you. But then there is your meat. I actually didn't need it this time. I almost always need that one. All right, we made it through to stage 14. Holy crap, things are looking up for me right now. Wow. Stage 14 brings us another new enemy. These are Axe Knights. The way to deal with them is to throw holy water and back off so they walk on it. That is the best way to do it. As you can see, uh, they, they, they're afraid of me. They keep on running away. Uh, if you can kill them with the uh, the holy water, I believe that they, you get a few more points. I could be mistaken. So they sometimes just show it on screen. All right, this guy's a little bit more difficult to take on, uh, but the idea is still the same. Holy water, back off. Let him go into it and hopefully get over there and whip him. That's the idea. And it, it does take time, unfortunately. All right, down he goes. 
Don't whip this, it's an axe. You don't want the axe, you need the holy water. Well, you don't necessarily need it. You can actually do this without the holy water, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Honestly, I've never done it without the holy water, so I, I can't really give you too many tips when it comes to that. All right, down goes the red skeleton, and get him off screen. There we go. Nope, he's back. Doesn't really matter too much. All right, kill this guy and then head down. Don't let him respawn on you. Maybe we'll wait for that to go away. Holy water, back off. Uh, oh, come on. All right, holy water, back off. There we go. Holy water back off, and down he goes. All right, we'll grab all of this, kill that guy, head up here. Now I believe this is money in here. Nope, it's a heart, so it must be random because I believe it is usually a uh, honey, or, or $100 uh, money bag. So it's gotta be random. All right, anything here, here, no, okay. All right, now, I believe it is up here I want to go, and up there, and then there. There we go. Get ourselves a thousand more points and continue forward. And there was an Axe Knight up here. I'm sure, I'm sure you saw him. Come on. Damn it. All right, we'll go a little bit further. There we go. All right. And down he goes. Okay. I think that is it for secrets around here, too. All right, well, just head down. Here! No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. That was close. I actually want that. We'll wait for you to respawn before I move forward. All right, we only got hit once, which is not bad for, for a room full of axe knights like that. But we have made it to number 15 here. Ooh. This is not going to be easy. Let's see what we can do around here. Uh, not only is the boss here difficult, but the lead up immediately to the boss is also very difficult. So I'm, I'm hoping to see what I can do around here. I'm hoping that it's good. It's good. Uh, there's a boomerang. I don't want it. I want to hold on to the holy water and I want to get out of your range and kill you. And I got more hearts out of that, which is, which is good. Okay, we'll just continue forward, killing red skeletons. Head over here where there is more meat. And we'll kill this guy. And uh, we'll wait and we'll kill this guy one more time. We are about to enter the hallway from hell. My advice to you here, jump over the Medusa heads and whip. Whip and whip and whip. All right, duck under that. Okay. And we're good to go again. Whip, whip, jump over the Medusa heads. No, damn it. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Okay, we made it. I only got hit once. Uh, I did get hit, but it was only the once, and I'm calling that a victory. That's actually pretty good. All right, head to the middle here. Head back, no, all the way. There we go. And throw there, throw there. Holy water, holy water, holy water, holy water until you win that this is the easiest way that's that's pretty much it that's my strategy for taking out the grim reaper otherwise you're gonna die um honestly i i can't beat him other otherwise uh he spawns scythes which then come at you he spawns three to four scythes oh my god I, that is one of the hardest parts of the game now done and i am very happy to say that that is now done and now we're going to stage 16, level six. As you can see, this is pretty much it. We've made it to the end. Holy crap. 